Welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video. For this video I've partnered with the channel Cheddar and they've made a video about what would be the best case scenario if an asteroid were to hit Earth. You can check out their video after this, but for now I'm going to look at a few different ways to destroy the Earth, one of which will be through asteroid impacts, but later in the video I'll also try and see what happens if we have a black hole in our solar system. So on the screen right now I have our solar system, it looks pretty calm right now, pretty peaceful. Uh, let's go find Earth and see what's up. So here's our pretty calm and peaceful Earth. Now you probably know that asteroids can cause quite a lot of uh, destruction to the planet. Um, and I'm going to place a random asteroid pretty close in orbit around the Earth right now. So there's our asteroid there, this is just a random asteroid, so that's going to go around. Uh, let's go have a look at him. It's called Oman and it's just going to have I guess random stats there you can see in there. Uh, let's see how big he is. So this asteroid, I'll let it go around, uh, 27 kilometers across, that's actually pretty big. I think the asteroid that hit the earth way back and destroyed all the dinosaurs um, was about 10 kilometers across from memory so this is actually apparently bigger than that um, so I guess it's big enough to do a lot of damage but you know against the backdrop of the earth here he looks pretty tiny um, you can see its shadow there across the face of the earth uh, we've got out some mass and everything else so one way for an asteroid to go from orbiting around the earth to actually on a path directly heading into the earth is for us to set its speed to be zero. So let's find its speed here, motion zero. So that's going to change things up a bit. Um, but it's no longer got the speed to go around but it actually starts to just fall into the earth. So I think he's hit around the back here and yes sorry so he hit around the dark side of the earth during that. Um, so something his size it set out a little bit of a uh, bit of a hot spot there on the earth let's send in another one and actually watch it collide so our second asteroid is about to make an impact again on the dark side of the earth oh that looks nasty <laughs> um, you saw a lot of shock waves i guess going out there um, you know huge waves that would have destroyed a lot of what was in this region um, and you know the big thing about the asteroid that was I guess smaller than this one here and that caused so much destruction that it wiped out the dinosaurs uh, it was because it landed in a spot where it like displaced so much material that it changed the makeup of the atmosphere and the climate of the earth and with that change in climate life that was currently on earth couldn't really sustain itself so even though it's only like burned up a pretty small patch here the impacts from that change on the earth's climate can be really far reaching all right so here was our other asteroid that hit in the ocean um yeah both look pretty damaging we've got an ocean hit and i think a land hit over here it's hard to see it's night time uh some lights are still on so we'll put another random asteroid in orbit but this time we'll go on and uh, see if we can increase the size a little bit. So that's 10 to the 16 kilograms, let's just put that up to 18, maybe a little bit higher, maybe up to the power of 20. Okay so he's uh, that's adjusted it to make the radius a little bit bigger too. This is our asteroid here, he's probably more like a little moon, um, he's going around the earth. Um, his radius 283 kilometers so that's you know a lot bigger than our previous ones which are about 30 kilometers radius um, so let's see what some of the damage he will do let's wait till he gets around to the light side of the earth and then set his speed his orbital speed to zero all right now we're going in we're hitting that interface of light and dark i think Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so a lot more of a shock wave or a wave of destruction coming out of that one. Definitely going to have an enormous impact on this region here where it's actually collided. Um, it looks like off the coast of Africa. Um, you know, not too much of a populated region, region, but you saw like 
that impact that was going around almost half the earth, um, that fiery looking impact. Um, but of course, this is going to have just a huge impact on the climate and the environment around, around pretty much the whole earth. So a lot of destruction from that one there. Uh, let's try one more big boy. Um, okay, let's add another random asteroid. The Earth's looking pretty battered at this point. Uh, so the last one was to the 20, maybe to the power of 25. Oh, that's a bit too big. Um, oh gosh, that's bigger than the Earth. That's, well, no time. <laughs> no time to make him smaller. Uh, that's what Earth would ha happen to Earth if the asteroid was so huge um, that it was bigger than the Earth itself. Don't think there's many survivors from this one here. Uh, in fact, you know, this body as well has been pretty much destroyed. I don't think, well, Earth is completely obliterated to dust. Um, but that's probably fitting for this video of trying to destroy the Earth in various ways. Just get yourself a real big asteroid and that seems to do the job pretty well. Uh, well, you know, no one else seems to mind too much. You know, the other planets probably don't notice that Earth has been replaced by kind of an equally sized asteroid, a flaming on one side, pretty menacing. Um, that there is an asteroid that I added earlier when trying to fiddle around with the controls. Um, you know, he also doesn't care very much. All right, that was pretty destructive, but now I'm actually going to take a fresh version of the solar system, except this one is inspired by one of the Vsauce videos where he replaced the sun with a black hole of the same mass. Um, now, if you have the same mass of the sun, but in a black hole, it doesn't actually really change much because the gravitational forces keeping everything in order just depend on the mass of that central item, I guess, really. Um, so the black hole was shrunk down to a radius of three kilometers because it's so dense um, for it to have the same mass as the sun. But at that three kilometer radius, it, it hasn't really had much of a gravitational effect. Let's go have a look at him. There he is there, very small. He hasn't had that much effect on all the planets going around. You know, life on Earth probably would have been killed already because most life needs the sunlight to survive. Um, but gravitationally, like Earth is fine. He, he's just orbiting around. Um, curiously still has light on one side, uh, which is interesting given that there is no sun. I guess that's just the studio lights. Yeah, but actually you, you look at him, he seems, I don't know if the white is ice, but I, he looks pretty icy right now. Uh, so maybe the game engine can tell that the sun has disappeared. Uh, and temperatures are probably pretty cold over here. Oh yeah, so um, temperature of the earth, that's not earth. Yes, it is. Temperature of the earth, um, minus 20 degrees Celsius. So without the sun, he ain't doing so well, but you know, He's still in place, um, it's just still orbiting around. So how about we take this black hole and make it a little bit bigger, see if that uh, finishes off the job of destroying Earth, because life is probably, apart from maybe tardigrades, have been destroyed at this point. Okay, so let's just click on our black hole, go to his uh, mass. Instead of being the same as the sun, we could make it 10 times the solar mass and see what happens. Okay, and we can see Mercury flying in there off the usual orbit. Um, so let's go have a look at Mercury. You know, she's still not at the black hole, but yeah, has come in and done basically a big slingshot around the black hole. All of these orbits now of the planets are, have started to be really disturbed by the black hole. Just to have so much more mass in the middle of the system is really gonna change how things are orbiting. Yeah, Venus is coming in, Earth is coming in too, but they're all just slingshotting around the black hole, which is in the center there. Um, no one's really being eaten yet. So uh, let's crank this up to 40 times the mass of the sun. Yeah, yeah, still, still got a lot of impact there. Mars is changing. Jupiter still looks pretty chill. These ones here, let's uh, now increase the radius of this black hole. So. Uh, let's, you know, approximately double it. All right, Earth gone. That was quick. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, sucked right in. There goes Venus, Mars. Let's see who's left. 
All right, so zoom out a little bit. Uh, everyone's just going on a straight trajectory inwards. I see what's happened here when I increased the radius. Um, you know, it's, it's tried to keep the density, density locked. So I've tried to increase the radius. It's increased the mass hugely to be 600,000 times the mass of the sun, that looks like. Um, and that's given us what, you know, is very powerful here. And so I think we're just gonna watch people getting gobbled right up by the black hole now. Yeah, there everyone goes. Um, see ya. <laughs> uh, that really shows you the power of some of these things. Uh, we're probably just going to watch the solar system destroyed right away. I, I guess um, some of that uh, mass of the sun now is to do with what it's gobbling up because that's probably going to increase the mass of it on the game, I suspect. Um, if it's adding the mass of these objects to the mass of the black hole, I feel like it might be. Jupiter, oh, here he comes. It took a while. He's traveling in on this very straight trajectory here. Uh, let's see if we can follow him. I guess he's a bit icy as well. What's his temperature right now? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, part of the black hole now. So that was another way to destroy the Earth. Um, I guess we can watch this black hole steadily eat more things on the menu. Um, there's still a, planet, a few planets left to go. Um, you know, it doesn't make sense that we would actually have a black hole instead of a sun. I don't think that would happen under any circumstance because black holes, from what I understand, are created when you have like a massive star that goes supernova and then some part of it collapses back in on itself because there is so much mass there. Um, our sun isn't big enough to go supernova or to, to eventually create a black hole, but you know, our sun will eventually expand and change throughout its life cycle, just not to this extent of becoming a black hole. Um, so I guess we can be lucky that this won't be our fate, the black hole. Um, you know, maybe some of the smaller asteroids that we saw earlier in this video, I mean, I could imagine that those could be our fate. There's actually a um, simulation on here showing, let me find it, asteroid, there we go, showing potentially hazardous asteroids for us. So let's load this one up. And this is our, look, our solar system, and then all of the potentially hazardous asteroids which have been identified. An asteroid is considered potentially hazardous if the minimum distance between its orbit and the Earth's orbit uh, is less than 7.5 million kilometers. And the asteroid is larger than 100 meters across. Okay, so astronomers have currently identified over like, you know, nearly 2,000 of these. We can have a look at some of them there. That's a little bit concerning. Um, you know, there's us, Earth, mixed into the orbit of all these different things, so it's not unimaginable um, and you know we shouldn't discount asteroids from being a real risk to earth but there are people that look out for asteroids and there are organizations you know trying to see um, what's coming and how we can stay safe the video over on Cheddar's channel which I really encourage you to check out um, speaks to one of these people at NASA who is in charge of looking for asteroids that might impact earth um, and trying to protect us from them so thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you guys next time as well as making videos about asteroids destroying the Earth, Cheddar are making videos that cover business, technology, innovation, science and news. So if that sounds like something that you'd like, consider subscribing to their channel and watching some more of their videos.